Episode two, six life questions with Danny Walter, a.k.a. at Small Arms Danny, a.k.a. Big motherfucking swole, <laughs> a.k.a. he's the man. Dan is in the chair. Now, shout out Sam Adams. Shout out Max Stafford. Shout out our first guest, which was Cole Susak, who dropped your name a couple times. Yep. Shout out Arm Gauntlet. Sh- shout out the Arm Gauntlet of Hugeness, <laughs> <laughs> which is why we're friends, I believe. Precisely, yeah. So, all right, Danny. So, six life questions brought to you by MaxEffordMuscle.com. Number one, what is one ritual you are dedicated to? Um, it's pretty cliche at this point, but uh, I kind of want to get something different. But wor- I mean, working out for me, yep. like it's 3 a.m. every time. Is I, your what, are the weekends 3 a.m. for you too, or are they later? No, the weekend's a little bit different. Okay. I try to actually be somewhat more human yeah, with same. my wife and child now. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, it's literally hit the, hit the garage, step outside, and lunge. Do you have to do some type of conditioning or will lifting or is it, is it both? Like what is, what is the actual like workout ritual that kind of is the washing machine that has to happen for you to feel normal? The, yeah, the, the minimum is a two mile ruck. Okay. There we go. That's what I want. The minimum is a two mile ruck <laughs> and 800 meters of lunges. So that's the minimum. So even if you don't touch a barbell, you got to hit those two things. Oh, and, and a hundred wheels. Yeah. hundred. Ah, uh, yeah. Gotta be out here like a ninja turtle. Ab game. Yeah. Ab game. Yeah. Yep. To turtle right. shell. Yep. <laughs> All right. Love it. Anything else, uh, outside of that uh, journaling, something I thought about when I was thinking about questions for you, cause that seems yeah. to be a ritual that you've been into. I don't know if you're still continuing that or yeah, not. Yeah. I, I do carry a Google. Do- actually, that's actually a good point. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have like a little rough template on a Google doc that I am religious to. Okay. Um, the journaling stuff, yeah, I, I am pretty consistent with it, especially with having a kid now because I want to remember what she's doing. That's really cool. Yeah, so I can refer back and show her. All right, so perfect. Number two, one thing you're super proud of. <laughs> um, can I give two? Or sure. One? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, one is being a dad yeah. now. Yeah, which is no surprise to you no, now. No, so of course. Little girl just turned one. Yeah, it's, it's like, awesome. you know the coolest feeling in the world. So you're looking back. Shout at, out making a baby. Yeah. Shout out Lil, Lil Ev. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you're, I mean, we've been looking at her, you know, the first month and when she was here, the pat for the past week now. And so it's like, it's so bizarre that we've actually like made it this far. So, um, see so yeah, that's one. And then I think another one is definitely going to be go rock related. Oh yeah. Um, Probably not the one that you guys saw, uh, mm-hmm. just because I didn't make it. But the the other one would be like t- the team one, which was a forty eight hour event. So okay. it, was, it was like how shitty. many miles? Don't know. Oh, okay, no idea. It's just the time. It was, was forty eight miles, forty eight hours of suck with a partner, and we had really bad conditions. The the creek was high. Um, what are you laughing at, bro? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be serious because that was serious, but you said suck with a partner. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to fight it. I was like, what then, did I say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Sorry, Danny. No, <laughs> I was going to say uh, it basically rained like the first like 12 hours of the 48. It uh, was it was like in the 30s. We had to get in the water multiple times, you know, worse of the worst. So, uh, yeah, I was just really proud that I actually got through it because I didn't know if I was going to. I would say there's a couple points of that where you're like, thousand percent. what am I doing? Why did oh, yeah. I sign up for this? Yeah. You're, I could be sitting on my couch. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. You have every single one of those questions come up at some point because your body is t- trying to give you a way out. Yeah. And it's you have the highs and the lows, up and down, up and down. That cycle of thought process of like, I want to quit. You can't quit. You're, don't be a little bitch. Okay, you made it another minute. Then you have – it's like it's a weird cycle that if you can fight through to get back to it again because mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's weird how it does that. It's yeah, it's the most bizarre thing I've ever gone through because it's like one minute you're like, oh man, I got this shit. I'm a fucking boss. And then yeah. like, you know, 30 minutes later, you're like, fuck this. Yeah, this yeah. I'm fucking cold. My yeah. feet are wet. I'm never going to be dry ever again. You know, all this yeah, stuff. I'm never fucking doing this again. Yeah. Well, no, you still had that feeling right. Even after you were done, you're like, I'm never doing this shit again. But now I want to do it. Again. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I always do that whenever I drink too much and throw up. And yeah. then I think <laughs> Don't I'm never all. fucking doing this again. <laughs> and then you see how that goes. Two weeks later. Yeah. yeah. All right. Number three. Uh, one thing you wish you could change. Um... Hmm. You can't go wiener from nine inches to 13, Danny. Shit. <laughs> wow. he, he gave me a nine, huh? Yeah. I was trying to get your Instagram Instagram to blow up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Honestly, th- this might be 
a little interesting. Um, maybe a, a bit far fetched, but <laughs> so I, is the thing I just said. Yeah, <laughs> very yeah, nine ish around. Yeah, <laughs> think about it. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking about when you call me between my junior and senior year of college. Okay. And you offer the MP, uh, sales yeah. rep of like 10 plus cities to go to. I wish I would have taken it. Ah, the first time, the first time, because I think that would have made me kind of like how you talk about, like when you started T3 and you felt mm -hmm. like you were light years ahead of all the people that you were in school with. No question. That's what I, that's what I want to experience is mm -hmm. that. Because I, it, it would put more pressure on me, but in a good, healthy way, because it relates to when I moved to Chicago. Because when I moved to Chicago, I had no one around me, just like when you moved from the Valley. Yeah. You had nobody to rely on except for yourself. Yep. And so that's what I experienced. And in six drunk homies in my in my college house. Yeah, but they, yeah. They weren't paying attention. <laughs> exactly. But that was like the biggest level up for me was... Really, Chicago was huge for your development, wasn't it, Danny? In, in every way. As a person... Uh, like with the job itself, I literally had a blank slate. I had almost zero direction. Yeah. Like Adam and Jason came out for like two days or something, but that was just like going in to a couple of like GNCs and vitamin shops. You're also forced to go talk to people and it's, and it's being <laughs> yeah. logged essentially. So like you, ha you cannot stay in a comfort zone. Yeah. I had no choice. Yeah. It, it was, it was so, uh, yeah, it was very difficult for me. Cause that's against every cell of my body Yeah, <laughs> to go. You, when you took that, you knew that too. Uh huh. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. cool. For Good job, Danny. <laughs> but you wish you would have started that process sooner. Exactly. I got mm -hmm. it. Which, what was the time frame? A year different? Was it two years? So I, <laughs> I grabbed that. Yeah. So it would have been, yeah, I guess it'd be a year and so year, it wasn't a year that big or two. No, it wasn't that maybe yeah. two years. Yeah. Two years is a lot, especially mm -hmm. in our world, right? Yeah, especially when I came out and there, and that's when I did that door to door sales job, and it was, you know, working for some rando guy. <laughs> Terrible, you know, that was weird. Yeah. All right, number four. How do you? How did you build? We'll call it your initial confidence, because we're all we're con we're always continuing to try to build it. But like, what changed? And maybe it is when you went there, but it's like what changed to like to like give Danny like the thumbs up, like, all right, we got this. I believe in myself more. Uh, the first stage of that was definitely after I stopped playing baseball. Mm. I always felt co comfortable <laughs> and confident, like in my ability to play baseball, but like it wasn't until after I made the first phase of like a body, any sort of body transformation. I would say when you dropped the weight the first time. Huh? I mean, I went from 215 to 168. Yeah, like that's crazy. It was like very significant, like little triathlete endurance boy. And then I was like, yeah, I don't want to be small anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Right. Right. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I went from 168, and then that's when I, you know, old school popped up on Twitter from you. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I'm like, all right, well it's time to put on some size. actual quality muscle size. Yeah. yeah. And then that's when like, and then one, I mean, obviously once you see a little ab, ab pop through, <laughs> you know what I mean? Small arms. Danny was born. Yeah, precisely. Number five, what's success mean to you? Um, first thing that comes to mind, um, is like your, I know you've talked about it before and I've heard it from other people, but like being able to live out your perfect day. Yeah is you know and it's it's definitely not a uh, dollar amount like like mm -hmm. you were saying before but um it's just being able to you know to get up and not hate your life <laughs> yeah. um to be excited to go where you're going to work whether it's here whether it's at home whatever you're doing and then being able to share it with the people that you actually love <laughs> you know yeah, what i mean for sure and then having that support <clears throat> well one thing dion said uh with the whole colorado stuff going on is that you know, if he's doing what he was uh, quote unquote called to do and what his purpose is, the bag followed him. Yeah. I mean, his is a big ass bag too. <laughs> For real. <laughs> with this, you know, this crazy athlete that he is. But he just said like he keeps pushing towards exactly what feels right. And then on top of it, he's creating, you know, content that is also like, and it just keeps happening. Mm -hmm. And so it's like funny because, you know, especially early in your career with a guy like that, when you get, probably enough cash from playing ball and you're and you're smart about it you can just kind of float that way mm -hmm. but really it works no matter what i think no matter what you do it's just hard to do that yeah 
So I think the second part of it too is is uh you know working with the people that you actually want to work with. Yeah, that's huge. Because like I mean you've seen oh. you've got I mean especially you you've been in, in the trenches. People come and go. I yep. mean you could see the ones that are gonna last or that are diehard. So um, that is so important. It's so hard to find the, those people. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, lastly, Danny, one piece of advice you'd leave everyone. Um, just fucking get started, create any, any momentum. I mean, James clear talks about it all the time, no matter how small the action is like, just make, I mean, it could be no literally matter how small your arms are. Yeah. No matter how small your arms are, do, do the first curl. Just do the first curl. Do the first curl. <laughs> Before you know it, you'll be doing the 200 rep arm explosion, right? Yeah. But getting started in the entry point is a, is a setback for a lot of people because they just feel like it's not enough and it's not going to do anything. And I was uh, listening to somebody today talk about like a hundred dollar investment every month from when you're 18 years old till when, you know, yeah. you're 50 or whatever, and you're, you're a millionaire just with the compounding interest. That's but cool. people think a hundred dollars a month doesn't do anything, <laughs> but it does. Yeah. And it's like that with anything, but you have to start somewhere. Yeah. It's absolutely insane. It's, you know, I've talked to like family members, like mostly family members where I'm like trying to break through, not just like me, which you know how it is. Yeah. I mean, no matter what you say or what you, what you do, like it's, it's only going to, I don't know. So just, just get started, get the ball rolling. I think people overcomplicate the start point because they want it to be perfect. And I'm here to tell you, it's never perfect. It's always a work in progress and V1 to V7 to V10 to V12. It's just what it is. Yeah. If and you then, know that's what you're signing up for, I think it's easier to get started. For sure. And then just like all those <laughs> tiny little actions just to, when it gets to the point where it's not even a decision anymore. Yeah. Where those lunges, the rucking, you going to the gym, like all that stuff is so automatic. And then like, it just, you know, makes big things. All right, Danny, how can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear you say yeah. it. <laughs> At small arms, Danny. There it I, is. I almost said small arms army. <laughs> <laughs> it um, is Danny. It is an army. Yeah, it is. That's, <laughs> that's true. We're like five hundred strong or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Susak and I will definitely reinvigorate the arms army. So uh, yeah. we'll have to, you know, bring you some more valuable content. All right. Shout out, Danny. Appreciate <laughs> you. Uh, shout out, Sam Adams, MaxEverMuscle.com. We're out. Uh, I got another episode coming uh, right up next later. <laughs>